Hello, my name is Mario, and today I'm going to go pick up my new Geo Pro G19TH travel trailer. I'm currently in the San Francisco Bay Area, and it's two hours to get to the dealership. I'm heading north, north to Yuba City. It's a small uh, dealership up there. I'm guessing family owned, and instead of driving two hours all the way back to the storage unit, and you know trying to park the place at the storage unit for the first time in the middle of the night I'm going to actually camp out tonight it's not really camping but I got a, a reservation at an RV park and maybe it'll give me a chance to try out a few of the features in the trailer just make sure things are working okay obviously I'm not going to be able to test everything but that's the that's the thought process. The other thing I'd like to do is uh, go ahead and scale it. Once I have everything hooked up, I'll go ahead and scale it. I didn't have a chance to get a, uh, a lightweight of the truck itself, the Chevy Colorado that I'm going to use to pick up this trailer. So I'm really interested to see, you know, how much I'm pushing all of this uh, to the limits as far as overall weight, uh, axle weight, and all these sorts of things. Well, the anticipation's killing me, and I'm pulling up to the place right now. Let's see if I can get in here. There's a couple people here, but it looks like plenty of parking. Yeah, here we go. All right, I'm going to check in, and hopefully everything is, is ready. All right, well, I'm taking delivery of it right now, and I'm in the process of doing the orientation, getting um, so I can understand exactly what all the switches and everything do. And so the name of this place is ET Quality RV. And uh, there we go. Let's see if we can get this. So it's hooked up. That's the trailer. So this is the setup here, and like I was mentioning, they provided this uh, hitch. And it has the stabilizer, so that's very nice, very, very nice. And then, uh, at any rate, as I mentioned, it is a toy hauler. So it has that back door. And there's the inside. I, didn't, I, I was not expecting that. That was totally unexpected. I got here to um, ET Quality RV, and essentially, I have my trailer. There were no problems, no snags. Well, there was one problem. The, um, the kitchen faucet <clears throat> was leaking a little bit, but they fixed it. You know, essentially, we went through the whole thing. It was totally painless. I... I I, I wasn't expecting that. I, I was expecting something, some sort of friction, some sort of delays. It's, uh, you know, a little over two hours. I'm all hooked up. I'm ready to go. I got the road right here in front of me. In fact, I'm going to start taking off. But the, uh, the navigation lady is going to start squawking. But I just wanted to say, you know, I'm heading over to the... Uh, to the RV park now, I'm about an hour and a, an hour away. I should be there by 4:30 or so. And uh, anyway, totally excited, totally excited, totally happy. All right. Well doesn't seem like there's any clearance issues and uh head north on live oak boulevard toward cassidy avenue then turn left onto cassidy avenue so i'll catch up with you guys in a bit let me get onto the freeway feels good though doesn't feel bad i've only been driving for a little while but feels pretty stable all in all i can definitely feel the trailer back there and it's not fully loaded I'm not you know there's nothing back there yet I'm probably gonna 
try to put I don't know how many more pounds of weight back there it does have uh, two-thirds full of water I probably would have rather had it either totally full or totally empty for the fresh water tank so that might be part of what I'm feeling there's no wind it's a beautiful day today I ordered a, uh, a mirror extender for the passenger side one uh, it hasn't come in yet and I can uh, I definitely think I'm gonna need that for for the uh, for the Chevy Colorado here and it's not a really wide trailer uh, it's not quite eight feet so I, I don't it's a little over seven feet wide I'll, I'll go over the numbers later but I just thought I'd mention also that uh, I think the extender on the passenger side the, the side view mirror for the passenger is a good idea it's handling well uh, I'm I feel like the uh, the hitch stabilizer is important so I think it's working hard which is a little concerning to me but all in all I'm pleased and I got about another uh, well I don't know half hour to go I'm gonna stop off at Walmart of course got to do the uh, obligatory stop off there and uh, I just need to throw a couple things in the fridge so I'm not starving Okay, well I successfully made it to the RV park and I was able to sleep and shower and uh, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt but I did change my socks and so forth. So at any rate, um, getting ready to head out of here and the plan is to go over and get a scale. So really when you weigh your vehicle you want to have everything all loaded in there but I want to get a general idea of what the different axle weights are so anyway that's the objective I'm on my way out of here but here's the uh, inside of the RV so it's pretty sparse right now and there's a little bit of water in the in the tanks and here we are this is the uh, this is where I'm parked it's parked here for the night and yeah, just getting ready to pull out of here. Just got to raise up the jacks and then, uh, you know, we'll disconnect the power and then, uh, and then we're getting out of here. Okay, well, I finished my walk around and I'm all loaded up and ready to go. All I just got to do is figure out how to navigate my way out of here. So let's see, make sure my trailer brakes are working good. And they are. All righty. So it's been pulling pretty nice. I'm, I don't really have any complaints. It, the truck itself does sway a little bit. And I think that is about the same as I was experiencing when I'd have the truck loaded down with my camping gear. Just the pickup truck by itself would sway in the wind or you know going over a bridge or whatever. So. The driving experience, I should say, is not really outside of my expectations. But there's going to be work to do, I'm, I'm sure, to get this thing, uh, well, to get the truck and trailer to perform the way I want, the way I need it to. All right. So this park is pretty nice. It's a Vineyard Estates, I believe is the name. I got a door open, I guess. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that hopefully that remedies that. All right, well I stopped off and I got some fuel. Now I'm fully loaded with fuel. Now I just got to get my way finish getting over to where the scale's at and it looks like I'm gonna have to make a u-turn somehow so that'll be interesting continue on Pacheco Boulevard for three quarters of a mile okay, well I guess I was pointed in the right direction the navigation lady caught up to which way I was pointed so yeah I'm just gonna come up here and get a scale I'm gonna use the cat scales application so 
you can download it on your phone and then you can put your credit card in there. I've never used it before, but it might make it a little easier because apparently they'll email you the actual scale certificate. So I'm going to give that a go. All right, looks like uh, looks like we're here. Not sure which side the entrance is on. Your destination is on the left. Let's see if I can get the application pulled up. So there's supposed to be a number associated with this specific scale. And hopefully I can get up here with my front axle on the front scale and the trailer on the rearmost scale. So right now I'm just coming up. Yeah, it looks like I'll get plenty. Okay. So the location number is right there on the uh, on the pedestal. And I'm trying to not have my foot on the uh, on the brake. I'm I'm rolling forward and I shouldn't be doing that. I guess I could put it in neutral. All right, so now I'm just sitting here on the scales. And it's wants me to verify I'm at 1361, so I'm going to hit accept. And it prompted me if I wanted to talk to them about a certified weight. Um, so I don't need it to be certified. I'm not doing business with it. And it's just giving me prompts to verify the location number and so on and so forth. It says it's going to cost me 12 bucks. Click accept. And so now. It prompted the Waymaster inside. Okay, so there I got it. So now I can pull off. All right, so I wanna see what's going on here before I take off. Hopefully I can stay out of everybody's way and ponder what I've got going on here. I don't want to block any of the big trucks coming in for fuel, you know, they're working. But just really quick, I'm going to look at the numbers here and just ponder the idea. Okay, so steer axle is 2,400 pounds, drive axle is 3,120 pounds, trailer axle is 3,020 pounds. So. That's kind of what I was wondering because the steering felt really kind of skirmish. Yeah, not skirmish, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? This the steering was really loose, and so 2,400 pounds. I got to figure out a way to get weight onto that steer axle, some of my cargo weight, because right now what I have is probably about, including myself, maybe about 400 pounds of cargo in the pickup truck. And then the trailer itself is under 4,000. Uh, empty, it's 3,400. And right now I got like water in there and that's about it. So there's under 4,000 on the trailer and the axle weight is 3,000 pounds. So I'm, I probably got about 800 pounds, maybe a ton weight, which is okay. I have um, a rating on the hitch is 900 pounds but you want things to be balanced so that you don't necessarily want a heavy hitch but at any rate bottom line it these numbers make sense in my head about how the the truck is feels and how i need to start working on getting all this stuff balanced out so all right
and the application worked good. I mean, that was my first time. It, I like that. That's a lot easier than trying to park and go inside and all that other stuff. Okay. Next stop is going to be uh, the RV uh, storage area. So I guess I'll just end the video here. I want to thank you guys for, uh, you know, for watching. And there's going to be other videos. Like I said, you know, I got a lot of work to do. I just picked up the truck six months ago. I just picked up this trailer yesterday. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I have a lot of grand ideas and plans and, you know, who knows what's going to work. And so this is, this is going to be a real adventure for me and I'd like to take you guys along. So thanks for watching and check out my other videos. All right, take care.